So in recent trading days, we have seen the price of VinFast shoot up from $10 to $90, a 900% increase before it actually reversed to begin the trading week. When we saw on Monday, price just collapsed 44%. And the question was, this move was inevitable, but it was a headline that caused this. Short seller Jim Chanos called VinFast a $200 billion mean stock. And then the price collapsed hours later. Short selling legend Jim Chanos had a few choice words for VinFast Auto, the one to kind car stock for VNM, shortly before it tanked by more than 40% in Tuesday's trading session. The specular who famously made a fortune betting against Enron before it dis its demise, branded the EV newcomer a $200 billion mean stock, only hours earlier. Retail is buying a stock that option traders think will drop 50% in the next three weeks, he tweeted on Musk's rebranded X site, citing the implied price based on put options set to expire on September 15th. So what do you think? Is VinFast a mean stock? Let's listen to this video as they do a great job in summing things up. So where does VinFast fall in the mean trade? Here to discuss this and more, we've got Tom Bruni, StockBits senior writer. Is it a meme stock? Um, hey, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, it certainly is. Um, I think a meme stock is defined pretty much as anything uh, that has widespread investor, uh, retail investor attention and participation. And there tends to be a huge disconnect between what's happening in the securities price and the underlying business. And we're certainly seeing that with VinFast because, uh, as you said, it surged from $10 to over 90 recently, making it the third largest automaker uh, globally at a $200 billion valuation. Um, and yet it only expects to produce about 40,000 cars this year. Tom, what is it, though, that's attracting the attention from the retail traders? Why do they like a name like VinFast? Yeah, so I think, you know, just in general, retail investors are looking for kind of the investing in the future, things that are going to change, um, you know, change the world and hopefully pay off as an investment. So the electric vehicle space has always been something that they've been interested in. Um, at the end of the day, everyone's looking for the next Tesla. They want to invest in, you know, whether it be Fisker or VinFast. They're looking for the startup in the space that's going to grow um, with the same potential as Tesla. Yeah, I mean, it, it feels like this is a story that we have seen before with other EV makers. But I wonder how much of the stock moves have been exaggerated just because of the limited number of stock that's available. Uh, there's been much made about the fact that uh, Vin Group, which is uh, the, the parent company of VinFast, uh, their chairman has an outsized in a stake in VinFast. Yeah, I think that's the real story here. I, I I'd be hard pressed to uh, say that the $200 billion valuation is justified based on where the business is. But if you look at kind of how the company is structured, through its SPAC, it offered about 17 million shares uh, for the public to trade on the NASDAQ. But that's only 0.3% of the company's total shares. The rest are closely held by VinFast Group uh, CEO and founder. So. There's not a lot of availability for, for uh, the public to trade. And if you've got a lot of demand and not a lot of supply, that tends to drive up the price. Tom, what are you seeing on stock twits specifically, just in terms of the interest and how that certainly, I would guess, has changed dramatically in even just the last couple of days? Yeah, for sure. So over the last month or so since it came public, it's grown to about 5,000 people having it on their watch list, which is no small feat um, for only being a month old. Uh, additionally, it's one of the most highly um, active streams on our platform. So people are definitely uh, participating in the conversation. And a lot of people are just waiting on the sidelines, trying to figure out what's actually happening here. So just to put things into perspective, Drew Dixon tweeted, if VinFast is lucky, they will do 40,000 units this year. Toyota will do 40,000 units in the next 40 hours. VinFast has a market cap of $200 billion. When things act like this, one has to wonder about everything. 
Now, if I just plot the high at 93 and the low at nine dollars the chart suggests where price is right now that's the line in the sand which is represented by the most recent pivot high which was resistance now should serve as support meaning if we get a close below 35 look for price to move down to the next pivot high which should serve as support at 23 if we get a close above this resistance band and eventually a close above this most recent red candle we can see price retest the old times highs but with a valuation that exceeds in terms of market cap Ford and GM combined if I was a betting man my money is to the downside Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.